There's only two things you need to learn to pay attention to when it comes to bird language. Um, and that is, are the birds relaxed or are they tense? This is, that's the only real question in any moment when you're doing bird language study. Are the birds relaxed or are they tense? And, you know, if you can learn to tell the difference, and I think I'll give you right now a little um, lesson on how to tell the most subtle version of relaxed and tense in birds uh, has to do with when they're not singing or not making sounds or not feeding. Because if they're feeding or, or, or uh, um, you know, getting the, doing the water bath thing, then you know they're relaxed, right? Because you wouldn't sit there and eat and relax or, you know, bathe and relax if you weren't relaxed, right? Um, we don't bathe when we're terrified, do we? Um, if we're f afraid that something's trying to kill us, the last thing we do is draw a bath, usually. <laughs> um, so the, 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 the good news about birds is that they're, they're like us in that way. They have the same kind of primary instincts that we do, right? So a lot of times when people first start going to their sit spot, you know, that chair in the backyard, literally, please put it in your backyard or in the front yard, but don't put it somewhere way off in the forest, you know, that takes an hour to drive there, because you'll never go, and then you won't learn bird language, right? If you really want to learn it, go out in your yard three or four times a day. People immediately take their mind, they go to bird language, and they're like, oh, it's got to be really complicated, and it's going to be really hard to learn. It's not. It really comes down to two things. Are we relaxed, or are we nervous? That's it. And you'll see patterns of groups of things really nervous in one spot, and they'll all be looking in the same place. Go look to see what they're looking at. One of the problems when you do it alone you go to walk to look at and see what they were looking at, and by the time you get there, they all just kind of relax as if nothing was happening. And then you're thinking, did, why, did they just like fool me into coming over here or what? No, what happened? You came from this side. You only have one place that you can come from. And the weasel went, back. And the weasel went out the back door, or the owl flew out the back of the bush. So I always tell people, if you want to learn bird language quickly, learn it with you know, two or three other people. And I notice that when the Bushmen go out in the field, both men and women, they always go in twos and threes. And whenever they encounter something, they always break out so that they get different perspectives.